Hey guys, what's up? It is Mason from Mason and Connor's Action Show, and today we are going to be doing a blender tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to um, make like bendy in the ink machine style textures and graphics in Blender. With the full tutorial with the texture mapping, all the stuff. This is recommended for like intermediate Blender users. So if you don't know how to do stuff like scaling and grabbing and modeling, stuff like that, I do recommend that you learn a bit more of Blender before you watch this video. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Uh, I've been working on the scene in Blender that was bendy and ink machine kind of styled. And I searched on YouTube how to make uh, textures in that style, and there were like none. Zero. It's ridiculous. So that's why I decided, you know, I'll make my own. I eventually did find a good method for doing it. Alright, so first of all, what I'm going to do is, we're actually going to keep the default cube. I'm going to rename this Tape Recorder. Okay. So we're going to quickly just model a nice, simple um, tape recorder model. Just gonna move this face down, switch to mirror view, move these closer to each other, make that a little shorter. Can loop cut right here, dissolve all the edges except for that one, and just bring this part down. There you go. Maybe you could make this go a bit down. There we go, that looks like a good old tape recorder from Bendy the Ink Machine. So there we go, we got this cool little basic tape recording thing model for the recordings. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to go to UV Editing, okay? And we're just going to select everything with A. Now, as you can see, this mapping is trash. Abs absolute trash. So what we're going to do, we're going to press U to go to the UV mapping. Press Smart UV Project. You can change this how you want. I like doing one. I'm not entirely sure what these settings do, but I do know this is the margin between textures. <laughs> Sorry. So we're going to press OK, and then see we got these nice UVs all around here. So next what we got to do is, so we have our nice UVs, we can press New. New texture, call it a tape recorder, made it 2048 by 2048, and we'll leave it at black. You'll see when we start texturing it, and oops, go back to the te tape recorder texture. Okay, so we got that, and, and then we have the UVs all nice like this. So as you'll see, the uh, some of them are like sideways like this. We don't want that. Go to shading, okay, and then we'll add an image texture, connect it to the principled BSDF, and an open tape recorder thing. That way it's actually connected to the textures. What we have to do, we'll put like um, some text, we'll draw stuff like in the corner so that we know it's uh, in the correct direction. So see, this is on the top, uh, the top left, and it shows the top left here. The top is on the top, so everything's working there. If we put this here, you'll see this is sideways. So what we do, well first we'll do the rest. Put one on the side here, okay, and then on the side. So what we have to do, oh wait, first, <laughs> one more thing, put this on the bottom. Put this on the bottom, so I'm placing these what? specs so that I know okay. which one um, which one is oriented incorrectly. So what we'll do is we'll rotate this to the correct rotation and we can drag this over here. We can grab this, rotate it negative 90 degrees maybe. Sorry if this is a little hard to follow along. So, Alright, so we got here, see it's in, it's uh, facing the right way now. We can rotate this negative 90 degrees. Put it in a place where you can see a little speck. And it's on the left, just like it is here. Grab this one, rotate it negative 90. And we can just drag it down here. And then you'll see all the mapping works correctly. Now you're probably wondering, well, first of all, <laughs> let me tell you, so um, we're going to be editing this in an external program like Photoshop. And you can use, uh, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use other ones like maybe GIMP, I've heard of. That might work. I've never used it myself, but I think that would work. So yeah, you'll probably wonder, how the heck are we going to know where to draw the textures at? So we'll go to Texture Paint, and what basically what we'll do is just draw uh, colors for each side. 
So we'll go ba. Here, let me change the fall off constant. There you go. Ba. And then on this face, we'll do like maybe green. Okay. Okay, so I forgot to uh, rotate this one the correct way, so let's just do that. Uh, just so you know, guys, make sure it's a different color from the margins between the textures, okay? Okay, so once we have colored every uh, face a different color, like this, we can open Photoshop. First, we need to go to Image and then Save. Well, actually, we'll do save as there we go so we can go to um whatever place you want to do it i'm gonna make a folder call it tutorial bending the ink machine okay and then we'll open that and save tape recorder.png all right now let's open photoshop over here so now we'll press open and then we'll go to the e drive or wherever you saved it we'll go to We'll go to Tutorial Bending the Ink Machine, press taperecorder.png, open that, and here we are. See, so we have our textures here. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer, and then press G to go to Fill, and we're going to pick like a nice, uh, very yellow color. And we'll go like around here, uh, quarter saturation, quarter brightness, and then fill it in. This is a good Bending the Ink Machine yellow. Now we'll set this to 50 opacity so that we can see colors behind it. Now we'll go to the brush and set it to a small size, about three, for the pens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on half and then Blender on the other half so that we know which side is which. Okay, so I'm going to go to the orange part right here where the, um, where the little face with the buttons would be. And we'll go here, okay? And we'll kind of just sketch out an outline. We'll for, oh, whoops. <laughs> so we have to set it to about the center. That's a good color. And we'll kind of sketch out around the edges on it. All right, so now that I did that, we can save it as tape recorder. And save it into the place where you save the textures at. Okay, so we finished sketching out the outline. It's fine if it goes a little bit outside of it, but if it goes into places where the other textures are, we don't want that. So next, what we're going to do, I'm going to draw the little buttons that the tape recorders have. So first I'll sketch out like a rectangle out here and make it look very sketchy-like, okay? Okay, so we got this, and then I'll go in and separate each little bit. Okay, so now we have the little buttons. We can add a play button, a stop button, a pause button, and then maybe we can do a rewind and a fast forward button. We got rewind and then a fast forward button. Okay, so next we have the little sketch part sketched out. And what we can do is kind of like add little scribbly stuff around the edges like this and add things kind of around the edges. Or like the corners like that. Alright, cool. So now we have stuff around the edges. It's looking like bending ink machine already. If we set this to a uh, whoop, 100 opacity, see it looks a lot like it. So we can go to this view part in the shading tab, open tape recorder, or actually no. So what we'll do, what's nice about Blender is it can open Photoshop documents. But if you're in a different program, it might not be able to open it, and you might have to do it as PNG and then open that. So in here, we'll change it to open the PSD file. And see, right here, there we go. We got our uh, play and pause button right there. So next, what we got to do is just make it a bit more sketchy, kind of. So this is, like, this color that we did is the pencil. And then what we're gonna do, this would be, we're gonna do a color that's about like a quarter down here. And it was, this would be like the outline. And still we're gonna make it uh, sketchy. We're just kind of gonna go over the lines we already made, like this. Outlining over what we already drew.
What I might do, I might like fill in buttons with the outline color. Okay, so I filled in the buttons. They look pretty good. So next what we're gonna do for the little scribbly parts around the edges, we're gonna go over those like this, but we're not gonna outline every line. That way some of the sketch parts for the, uh, the unfinished pencil kind of part still shows up more. Like this, see? I outlined most of them, but some of the lines are left. What you can also do is like add more lines that weren't sketched out. Now you can see this looks r a lot like bending ink machine. So if we just save this, reload it here with Alt R, or you can also go to um, click this uh, lines, then image, and reload. I like doing Alt R, and see that looks a lot like bending ink machine. Don't you agree? So next, what we can do. You just kind of do the same thing with all the other faces on it. So for the next face, we're going to set this back to 50%. That way we can see the faces and we can, we can even save it again and then open here. See which face is which color. So I think I'm going to do the blue part where the actual tape is. So then again, going to pick about the middle color outline around it like this okay so we got that and then we can open blender again reload that see how that looks got the sketches make sure it goes all around the edges if there are parts where it doesn't really show up that well you can redraw it and then we can add the little sketch thingies around the edges. So we got that. This is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. So now that we have the outline, we can set this back to 100%. Looking good. So since this is the part where the uh, tape shows, what we're going to do, I'm going to draw like a... A uh, box for where the um, you would insert the tape in. There we go. We got a nice little box, and then we can do another one inside where it shows the little uh, things that play the tape. And then we can add in the circles, sketch it out again. When you're outlining it, in, it's gonna look better. There we go. We got that, and we can outline this a bit, and then. So this is looking good. Now back here, this part around here is actually very dark in the textures. So what we can do, you can make a straight line by clicking and then shift clicking. And see, so it'll give it some depth by adding diagonal lines like this to represent shading. All right, cool. So see, now that we added the lines there, really gives it a sense of depth. Looks good. It's kind of like a mix between an art tutorial and a blender tutorial, but mostly art. <laughs> so um, to make this part looks like, look like it goes in or pops out, whichever it is, you can kind of just add thicker lines around the edges. Maybe give it a bit of shading and see if we add more lines that go further out, looks like it's popping out. We can again save it, reload it, and it's really starting to look like a tape recorder. Okay, so next what we can do, we got the little tape thingies. So we can add a speaker around here. Now this isn't going to be exactly like the thing. So we're going to sketch out a, a part where the speakers go, like this. And then we can just um, add some dots that would look like the holes where the speakers would go. And there are lots of details in the um, tape recorder parts, like little things like this, sort of. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to be doing more of the basic thing. So next, we can just kind of, maybe we can make our brush a bit thicker. Add some dots around here for the speakers.
Cool, so we got the little dots for the speakers now. I think we're ready to outline it now. So let's go to, again, the outlining color. And then first we gotta sketch around the edges. We got the edges, so then we can go to this part, outline that. And if you have it a little bit wobbly when you're outlining it, you can make it more straight, get more flat. Cool. So for the part back here with the shading, we're actually not going to outline that, but we are going to outline the shape player things. So it has a, a white thing around the edges, so you can kind of go like that. It's actually a lot thinner. So around like that. There you go. It's not really white, just, you know, the yellowish color that Benny she has. So now we can fill it in, sketching around the circular shape. Because it's all black and filled. I wonder why Bendy and Ink Machine chose to do brown and yellow instead of black and white. Cool, so we got that one done. Now we can do this one. Alright, cool. So now we have that part. Um, next, what we can do is... Let's see our progress so far. We can save this, reload it here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Looking pretty dang good. So now, outline around this part. So actually, we can actually uh, leave those like that. Because it looks good. Cool. So now we can just um, outline around the edges. Like that. Again, making it extra sketchy. Not outlining everything, but a lot of things. There you go. So this is looking really good. I think we're done with this part. Let's open Blender again. Reload it. Now, in case you're having problems, you have to select onto this part and like drag it around maybe and to reload it because you can't just be like this and all R. See, that just clears the rotation. We don't want that. Uh, but yeah, so this is looking pretty dang good so far. Really liking how this is looking. So then you can just use what I showed you and then um, just kind of do kind of blank faces around the edges on the other sides but do the sketch and then you can make it look like this see so now i textured all the faces of this beautiful tape recorder and it's done and it's beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it also helped you guys comment down below any other videos you want tutorials or just not tutorials and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!